So I always get a lot of questions about how to enter these into the calculator. So what I did today is I pulled up from a website, um, www.alcula.com, and just gives you a nice scientific calculator to show you that you don't need anything fancy. A basic scientific calculator will work just fine here for this material. So I'd like to show you how to enter example one and example five into your calculator. Those are usually the two that um, give folks a little bit of trouble. So if I were doing so, I would, um, if I was going to type in example one here, I would type in my 50. Um, you'll notice that the um, formula recalls for two parentheses, so I'll hit the parentheses button twice. One plus. 0 0.0625 divided by 12, close parentheses, raise it. This is where it differs in some calculators. This is the caret that I was referring to in the video, the, um, the notes video. And then also sometimes, as, as I refer to in the video, that there's an X to the Y or a Y to the X button on your calculator. But this is what I mean as in terms of a caret. So it's raised to... Um, use another parentheses, 12 times 40, close parentheses, minus 1, close parentheses again, divided by, you notice the bottom's in parentheses, so I start another parentheses, 0 0.0625, divided by 12, close parentheses one last time. So as you can see, while it looks a little different here than, you know, the way it was written out, on the, no on the notes itself, um, this is what it would look like if you were entering it into your calculator. And then I just hit enter. And then you can see here I get $106,595. And if I round to the nearest cent, then I'm trying to figure out what to do with that to the five behind it tells me to round it up to 63 cents as I got here on the notes. Okay. So now another common issue that folks have with the notes is entering in the total and annual return. So let's look at total return here in example five. So I start with two sets of parentheses, too many, um, 8,400 minus 3,000, close parentheses, divided by the bottom, 3,000, close parentheses there, times it by 100 and hit enter and you should get 180 and as you can see in the notes there that is a percentage annual return so just below that in example 5 I'm going to start with two parentheses 8400 divided by 3000 close it I'm going to raise it so I'm going to use my caret button if I can get it here Parentheses because my exponent up there is um, in parentheses. You, you need to you use that also in your calculator. One divided by four. Close parentheses minus one. Close parentheses times one hundred. And then hit enter. And then you can see here I'm getting twenty nine point three five so on. Um, I'm having you round to the nearest tenth. So this three here is in the tenths place. The five behind me tells me to round it up to twenty nine point four percent. Okay. So hopefully that helps um, in terms of entering in your calculator. And I just wanted to show you that these indeed can be done all at one time, and you'll have the least amount of rounding error if you will go ahead and do it all at one time.